Recently, I've had a chance to put Worldwind FX's new Element mechanical keyboard through its paces. How does it stand up compared to its competitors? Retailing for $129.99, the Element's price puts it towards the upper levels of the mid-priced mechanical keyboards. The brushed aluminum body gives the keyboard a good weight and feel to it, feeling sturdy. The grippers on the bottom, combined with the weight, prevent any sort of sliding whatsoever during use. The desk footprint for the Element is on the smaller side, coming in at 17.5 inches long by 5.4 inches wide and 1.4 inches thick and is attached with a 1.8 meter long braided cable. These dimensions allow the Element to fit fairly comfortably on any computer desk with relative ease. The big selling point behind the Element mechanical keyboard is the content reactive real time lighting it does on its keys. It causes the keyboard to dynamically even try to recreate what's going on on your monitor on the lights with the keys. I was particularly impressed during a recent multiplayer game session of Splinter Cell Blacklist with some friends. Whenever I would use the night vision goggles, the keyboard would flash green and then sparkle, lasting until I turned my goggles off. With zero tinkering around or setup on my end, the element just did it on its own, even with a 7 year old game. On the topic of the Whirlwind engine, it's incredibly fast and easy to start customizing the lighting on your keyboard or downloading additional effects. Once you go and make an account, it's as simple as scrolling through the effects store, clicking get, and then setting it as the effect you want. Painless. For the more crafty coders out there, anyone can program their own effects and share them with others using HTML5. I really look forward to seeing what other offerings will be available as more and more people get their hands on the element. For those less programming savvy, like myself, the ability to customize the lighting on your keyboards is as simple as picking a color and setting its intensity and then painting the keys. These painted keys will remain illuminated with whatever you set them to, even while an effect's on. But as the element is a mechanical keyboard, let's talk about the most important aspect of this type of keyboard, the clickiness factor of the keys. Unfortunately, this aspect of the element leaves a good bit to be desired. It has a good springing feeling, the sound just comes off as a bit muted. Almost more of a halfway point between a membrane keyboard and mechanical. The pushback on the keys could stand to be a bit stronger as well, because as I would use it, I wouldn't realize I had a key pressed until I would be seeing a string of the same character zooming across my page. All in all, the quality of the Element mechanical keyboard is really top notch, it's sturdy, responds really well, and truthfully I found myself enjoying the effects a lot more than I thought I would. The price point makes it a good option for people that want to upgrade their kind of setup without breaking the bank on a new keyboard. I think I will replace this as my new main keyboard that I use, and it's worth checking out if you're in the market for a new keyboard yourself.